Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos exploring the hidden gems of China. And today, we're delving into a very unique part of Chinese culture. We're at Dujiangyan Qingchengshan Golf Club, a 7,023-yard par 72, 18-hole golf course just outside of Chengdu. The course is located at the base of Qingcheng Mountain which is a world heritage site and in ancient times was a major hub of Taoism. When the designers built this course, they wanted to exemplify the beauty of Qingcheng Mountain. And I would say they achieved their goal because the course is stunning. Although golf is a game of universal rules, the culture of golf in China is very different to the culture of golf in the West. Let's dive into some of those differences right now. The first major difference between golf in China and golf in the West is price. Golf is very expensive in China. The price for playing at Dujiangyan Qingcheng Golf Club is a whopping 1200 RMB. That's including a required caddy fee but not including the price to rent golf clubs. The next difference is that golf courses in China require that you pay for a caddy during your round. The normal price for a caddy at Dujiang and Chungcheng Golf Club is around 200 RMB. However, there is some leeway with the caddy fee. My caddy told me I could pay her whatever I wanted to. So the caddy fee is more like a tip than anything. The third thing that makes golf different in China is pace of play. If you've been to China, you know that waiting is not a part of the culture here. Whether it's waiting in line or waiting in traffic, people just find a way to cut corners. But waiting is a huge part of the game of golf. Most of your round is spent waiting, whether it's waiting for your playing partner to hit, or waiting for the group in front of you to finish the hole. What the Chinese have done to golf, which I like, is they've significantly cut out the waiting time. Anytime we ran into a slow group in front of us, my caddy had to skip that hole, and at the end of the round, we came back to all of the skipped holes and played them. And sure enough, we got in a round in under three hours. That's it for today's round, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, just drop me off a like. If you're interested in more videos exploring unique aspects of Chinese culture, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. This next month, I'm gonna be traveling around China, visiting some very beautiful but hidden locations. I'll see y'all around for the next China adventure. Bye, Jian.